Welcome to Things I Think I Think for 21 September 2020. Smart guy, great guidance. Our friend and client, Ananda Panampalan, shared some great guidance with our M Conference speaker series audience while we were all just chat chatting and sharing ideas last week. For context, Ananda leads a large client IT transformation and service organization. These are concepts they use to work with clients during a project kickoff. Have your plan on a page. You have to be able to communicate with clarity. Risks and a burn down chart on page two. Work for durable commitment. It's not enough to gain agreement. You have to be cheek by jowl with your client. Hiring guidance. Some of you have written suggesting that our recurrence to job search and interviewing guidance is too soon. But we're following Noah's rule before the rain. Things will heat up. We don't recommend leaving where you are necessarily. But missing an opportunity because you're not ready is a career sin. We recommend the concept of staying open to opportunities. Here's a note from an executive I admire. Mark, I absolutely love your job search and interview guidance. Had a company reach out to me this week looking for a new president. I'm not going to leave. I love my job and my future here. But I did an initial phone interview, mainly to learn what these guys do and gauge market value. Your note this morning hit me because while I was answering their questions, I was interviewing them. As I've told you before, my execution of your career tools guidance put me on the map at a previous firm. I had to have the goods, but I was about to do everything wrong until I listened to your cast on the plane ride to interview. Your guidance struck a chord. I revised my process and strategy. I practice in a mirror. I never do that and knock their socks off. One of the panelists who was dialed in by phone asked if I ever left, asked after I left, is this guy for real or just amazing at interviewing? I now like to sing the praises of career tools and manager tools whenever I can in the same boat. If you're a manager, you're probably worried a bit right now about year-end compensation conversations with some of your best employees. From your direct's perspective, they had a great year. They know that organizational results aren't that great, probably, but it's not wrong for them to want to be rewarded for great performance in a tough environment. One concept worth remembering, whether your firm limits you or not, is that individual performance always occurs within the context of the entire organization. I remember this when I think of a quote from the great movie, The Hunt for Red October. Everything on this ship affects us all. Posey. It's not a couplet or a haiku or a limit, limerick and not even enough for a sonnet. But this lovely short poem, originally intended for golf, is a nice way to think of our days lately. When at last the sun has set and dusk begins to grow, with all our strokes recorded, we'll reflect and smile and know that though the wind was raging and stole from us the score, we'll rise at dawn tomorrow to battle it once more.